So in this video, we are going to be discussing our New Year's um, vision board from last year and comparing it with the one that we made this year. So we want to see basically if we felt like we accomplished the things that we put on our vision board. Yeah, so we want to compare things that we plan to do from last year and see how they translate to this year, what are similarities between the two boards and what are things that we felt that we accomplished that or not coming into with us to this 2021 and also just understanding that you know a lot of things were impacted because of covid so a lot of things that you plan on doing might be things that you have to take into 2021 because you couldn't accomplish them because everybody was just home stagnant right so let's get started. let's get started so first this is the board that we made last year i guess that would be 2020 that, yeah, the end of 2019 yeah, so, we made it. So this so is our 2019. So that was the goals for 2020. Alright, so this I'm going to put it right behind us like this and I'll just turn a little bit. So this is the board that we made and the first thing that you see, which is the biggest part of our board, is that it says family on it. So it says family is all the love you need. And right now I know a lot of people is home with their families and that's really all you need. You need to make sure you have the people that you love with with you you know the holidays just passed and that's what the holidays is about spending time with the ones you love and yeah but this actually because a vision board is usually done like on a clear mm -hmm. i mean like a you know blank piece of canvas yeah. or whatever but this was something i actually bought for pictures and we turned it into a vision board so you stick pictures on it yeah we were being very creative yeah <laughs> So, and you yeah, know, so this was the highlight of it because you stick your family pictures on. And you know, the holidays, around the holidays into New Year's, it's like uh, we're celebrating our anniversary, the holidays, and the New Year. So it's like there's a lot of things that we're, we're, we're happy for and we're grateful for. So everything has to go into the board because we're celebrating so much of, at that moment. So, that so as Max was saying before, we have the Mr. and Mrs. on the board because the holidays is also around the time of our anniversary. So we put this, we picked it, picked it and it says, from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter and my arms will be your home. So that's just in reference to our marriage. And over here, there's a picture of um, two couples with their hands on top of each other and their wedding dance. Yeah, so those are the stuff that we have. So we have a lot of things that have to do with marriage, family, and stuff like that. But we're going to start right here at the top. And we're going to just let you guys know some of our key our key topics and stuff that we put on our board. And then we'll compare them to our 2021 vision board and our New Year's resolution. So the first thing we have is seven rules of life. Um, make peace with your past and some other stuff like... Where other things of use none of their business, take time time heals almost everything, give it time. So these are just like positive things to take into with you into two thousand twenty one well, and past that, you know, it's just making sure that you think about yourself and making sure that you take care of you before you take care of others. Yeah, well this was something we wanted to take into two thousand twenty. Yes. And we'll still carry it into two thousand twenty one. Yeah, like you are in charge of your own happiness. So like yeah. things like these are very important. Self care is the number one priority. Okay, and next we have when you intentionally give to your marriage, your marriage your marriage gives back. So that focus is just making sure you never forget about your marriage. If you're married you know how important it is to keep that spark in your marriage so that's why we chose that one yep like even with having a newborn you know and stuff like that and having a baby you still have to make sure that you you do not just give yourself to the your kids and not and forget about the yeah, marriage yeah, because absolutely. you have to take care of both so it's a juggling act but you also have to make sure that your what your marriage is a priority all right and what about that ABC blocks is just because of um, our son. We want to make sure that he's learning, constantly growing. Education is important to us. We're both trying to make sure that we get our education and so that he can also be educated also. And over here, we have a picture of a house. Our goal was to potentially move to Florida for 2020, 21. Well, 
not for 2020, but to prepare to prepare the ourselves. Process. Yeah, we wanted to get stuff in order, potentially start looking, and just trying yeah. to make sure you have the funds. Yeah, and that's just also because we want to own a home one day, no yeah. matter where we end up. Yep, that's the so-called American dream, mm -hmm. even though it's, they make it so difficult. And over here we have a gym that has um, medicine, balls, medicine balls and workout equipment. So we just yeah. want to be fitness oriented, just making sure that we work, work out, yeah. keep a healthy lifestyle, keep your heart healthy, make sure yeah, you have stay a... Stay proactive with your physical Keep your health. body strong because as you grow older, your body starts to wear down and the youthfulness that you had back in the days starts to take a toll. You start to feel like the achiness, the knees are hurting. You're just like, it wasn't like that last year. So 2019, I was fine, but 2020, I'm, I got a little back pain. My ache started since 2015 when I was 25. Yep, so it's like right now, like, you know, like, I used to play a lot of sports, like now nah, these old knees are starting to feel kind of old. Yeah, everything changes. So stay physically active. And then the next one is, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. Yeah, so that just means making sure that you, you know, you don't look at other people's relationship and try to compare. Your your story is your story, your relationship is yours, and it's all about making sure that you take care of home. Absolutely. And this one, did you pick it or did I pick it? I picked this one. This was six but years I'll in the push before and away, and it's just like, you know, technolo telling you technology what. is something that kind of takes you away from reality and just this is just reasons to make sure that you're being in the moment. I know that right now we are kind of preoccupied with the social media and stuff, and even YouTube is a social media platform, but you also have to make sure that you give yourself time to check in with reality and making sure that you are, you know, giving your focus to what's really important. Absolutely. And this one, I think you chose it. I chose that one, but that, because, you know, Date like, night. You know, as you get married and you have kids, you forget to continue to date. date and other. dating is, you know, even if it's something that you do at home, even if it's like, okay, I'm cooking, I'm doing this and that, you also have to make sure that, you know, these little things continue to happen. Even if you just like, I'm going to order out and I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to set up the room for a little bit, you know. Like, the simple things over here, like, I'm going to read like two, three, like, you see cook dinner for somebody that's a simple date night activity like you know like you know stuff like this like clean up after dinner give yourself time to talk you know get dressed up even if you're home like i we, we saw this um couple where it was like they couldn't go out and they, they got like a table and they just go to the Brooklyn bridge and with a basket and they set up and have dinner it's like Okay, no indoor dining. Guess what? I'll make my own indoor yeah, dining. Yeah, I saw that on ABC Seven. Um, my sister pointed it out to me. Or, or even like um, like you know how they do with the pod dating, where she um, the, they they would just put the curtain and like sit into two yeah, different. Yeah, that well, that's kind of like taking the idea of um, yeah, that show on the Netflix. Show. Uh, what was it called? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> it's something with love. <laughs> Yeah, so we're talking about the Netflix show. Well, that's what he's talking about. You we will put it on the it. screen. If we were, once we remember, we will let you guys know. But, yeah. but what I was saying was that I saw that story on ABC7 about the couple and they wanted to keep um, going on dates during the pandemic, but everything was closed. So they had a foldable table that they would carry over and they had their picnic baskets and everything. And that's yep. where they set up their dates. Yep, they had everything they, they needed. So on the Brooklyn Bridge, just Yep, and That's the Brooklyn crazy. Bridge is very special to us because that was where we had our first, first date. date. So we would love to do that idea, and, yeah. you know. And the next one, I think you picked this out too. Yeah, this was the I Mama picked Soros. it up. And it was supposed to say Papa Soros. And it was supposed to represent the whole family, Mama, Baby, and Daddy, but it ended up being a Mama with two different baby, boy and girl. Not, not that we're ever we're interested in having two anytime soon, but the goal was to be mama, baby, and daddy. So it was supposed to be like a family dynamic. And we do have the Florida license plate because it ties back to our plan for home. We want to be somewhere warm, but still be close to family, somewhere on the not East Coast, far. not too far, but also the only place that's kind of warm is either you're going down south or you're going to Florida. 
And this also represents you getting your driver's license. Yeah, driver's license. Um, and learning how to drive. Yeah, which we Which you did partially, yeah, but didn't complete. Yeah, COVID messed it up. Like, I was, I was moving around, okay? <laughs> I was in the cars. And this one says, dreams don't work unless you do. So, for 2020, we had a lot of things to accomplish. Like, I wanted to finish up with school. I got, um, I was almost done doing my nutrition in school and then Max is also in school and he's going to be done for this year yeah. 2021 so that's what that represents like not giving up on your dreams like for me it took me a long time to get through school you know so yep. and you're just getting started and yeah like for me I never really thought that I would finish because it was like I kind of figured like kind of like wiggled my way into a, a career without really having to go through the school route and it was just like you know something that was I'm grateful for but now I'm like I want to also have backup plans and stuff like that because it's like 2021 is, you know, 2020 because of the whole COVID thing. Everything is about what learning new skills and making yourself better. You had all this time to reinvent yourself and 2021 is when you show your new, the new, what you, what you gained in the process of being quarantined, you know, all that time to really work on your craft and reinvent yourself, come out with a degree, come out with a new skill, be ready for the new workforce, because guess what? This is gonna be the new everyday living and we have to adjust to the time that we're living in. All right, so this I chose for myself and this I think I chose too, because this career. Yeah, so these are kind of connected together. Yeah. Because they and, point at each other. And then I chose that because I, I, I couldn't wait to start my new career in the nutrition field. and. I'm basically there now. Just um, I just have to get credentials, yep. take my exam. Mm -hmm. But I can. The good thing is I can still start you because start I don't necessarily need the credentials right away, and I can still do some things without the credentials. So that's the good news. And so, um, this, this is another marriage. Yeah, these are all tied to marriage. So these are kind of like repetitive yeah, stuff. Yeah, best friends for life, husband and wife. Yep. This represents our, Tamsin. our son. <laughs> just you know keeping him in our vision this represents savings financial being financially um you know wealthy and you know sit, um, smart with our money make sure that yeah. we save because we cannot get to this if we don't budget this yeah. and then this, this is the last thing um i forgot the name of Mass the Lau's yeah this is a yeah so if this you is, in college you probably learned about mass law if you took like psychology yeah. and this is it's the about the needs, priorities of the what up, you, what yeah, yeah. It's like what do you prioritize in your life to get to what what you you know the happiness that you need. Yeah. You know, self actualization. This is the highest thing we all can reach in life, mm -hmm. and self actualization. And some people they say don't really get to that, but basically you start with your psychological needs, then safety, then love and belonging, then esteem, mm -hmm. and then self actualization. So that's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Yeah, so every, yeah. this is kind of like a full body thing. It's just like, just making sure that we take care of ourselves, take care of ourselves spiritually, mentally, financially, just overwhelmed. You know, just overwhelmingly great and positive. <laughs>